Hello friends and welcome to our VGC 2019 Ultra Series Daily Battle Series. We're back! So we've had a little break on the channel recently from a serious competitive play, but we're going to be trialling a little bit of content this week to see how we can manage doing the roulette and this series alongside each other. We're going to have the roulette in the morning, 7am, and then this series running at 7pm on Monday to Friday. So this week, it'll be nice to have it back. I have missed playing competitively. It's going to be a lot of fun, so I hope you do enjoy it. And let me know down in the comment section below if you're looking forward to seeing this back. Remember that the roulette series was only really an interim period until we get those rules announced for the 2020 season. So as soon as they are announced, we'll be coming back full fighting force, all competitively, uh, constantly concentrating on content on the channel going forward Pokemon wise anyway so the team that we've got going into today's episode is going to be Altaria it's going to be the Raichu, the Landorus, the Eveltal, Dustman, the Necrozma, and the Tapu Fini. The team, as always, is down in the description below. There is a Roll Paste and a Poke Paste. And check it out. Check the details out. And if you do try it out, let me know what your thoughts are. We're going into this a bit blind. I've put this team together, so we'll be testing it together this week on the channel. And probably next week, when we come back to this team, we'll be making changes with it. Um, we will be streaming with this team on Thursday this week, 8 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, uh, plus one, uh, over on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. I will tweet out when I go live and follow me over on Twitch. Obviously, to get the notification there. My handle on Twitter is OsirisVGC, so you can hang out and uh, come follow me on there, and you'll you'll know when we go live with this team on Thursday. So it'll be a lot of fun um, going forward with it. And sorry, I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lee, and also known as Osiris as well. That's my username handle. But without further ado, we've got the music on, so let's get straight into this one today. Um... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun playing this team. Our rank rating at the minute, uh, whatever it is, is taking a tanking from our roulette series. So hopefully this team will be able to kind of pull us out of the mire a little bit. Um, and we'll kick off with... Hey, let's go Ultra Necrozma version 1 because we normally go version 2. But let's go version 1 today to kick us off with some style points. And um, yeah, I really like the combination of the Duskman Necrozma and the Veltal. I think that combination between the two... It's just so strong um, and they cover each other very nicely. We've got elements in the team to kind of make up for discrepancies here and there. And then the Mega Altaria is just something that I thought could fit on there as a potential Mega Pokemon. Uh, could work quite well. We've got um, Perish Song on there that can work nicely. The Cloud9 works well with things like Tapu Fini. And then we've got the Lightning Rod uh, from the Raichu that helps out pretty much most things on the team. So we've got our first opponent from Germany, Enten. So let's hop into team preview. And Enten is running a team of Kyogre, Lunala, Nihiligo, Tapu Lele, Tapu Koko, and Incineroar. So we've got uh, all the funsies here, haven't we? Um, we I think it's Graham's team, pretty much, that he ran at the North American International Championships. And every time we've run into this team on a uh, roulette series, we've lost to it. So hopefully we can turn the tide a little bit with the results from it here. So I think we'll lead off with Eveltal and Raichu. Um, it does give us a little bit of protection against the Tapu Koko. I'm going to bring Finny because we need something to help us change the terrain. And I think uh, Ultra Necrozma at Duskmane could be nice as well here. Landorus could also be good against the Nihiligo, but the, the Necrozma helps kind of cover us on that slot as well. Um, quite happy with the selection. I'm ready, so let's get into this first one today. And let's get into it. I'm excited to play a bit more seriously because as much fun as the roulette series has been, if you guys have caught it anyway, it's so much fun. So I ask everyone to nominate Pokemon each and every week and we throw those nominations into a big roulette wheel and then we spin it and randomly select a team of six Pokemon. It's a lot of fun. We see a lot of random Pokemon and the teams just don't make any sense, but it is hilarious and it is great fun to, uh, to play around with. So... If you want some fun in VGC 19, definitely check that series out. But like I say, it's nice to come back, be a bit more serious about things going forward in this team. We're actually seeing uh, Psychic C Tapu Lele, which is uh, very interesting. Uh, obviously, the, the the Raichu can't do very much right now. Um, we could match Tailwinds. I think it's not a bad option. Turn 1 at least uh, if we Tailwind with Eveltal and switch into Tapu Fini. Get rid of the Psychic Terrain. Uh, get our Missy Seed boost on our Eveltal makes it a little bit easier for us to manage things against with that Tapu Lele out in front of us. It can fire Moonblast stuff that would be 
quite detrimental to us otherwise. So we'll get this Misty Seed boost up. Uh, we're just going to see a Dazzling Gleam, which is better than a Moonblast, to be honest. Um, and we'll probably see a Tailwind. Ooh, Psyshock from the Lunala, trying to snipe the Raichu there, uh, as we do get a Tailwind set up. But this is fine, because the next turn, what we can do is Snarl and then Heal Pulse ourselves. Um, it puts us in a really nice position. I mean, we've got to watch out for Wide Guard as well from the Lunala. But I think from here on out, we might end up losing our Tappy Finny, but it's kind of done a decent enough job already, so heal pulsing will be quite, quite useful here, I think, uh, just to keep Yveltal nice and healthy going forward in this match, as we do get a, a chase this Snarl off and reduce the damage on, on, on both targets here. Um, not really worried too much about the Lunala, more about the Tappy Lele here, as we do get that heal pulse from our Tappy Finny into our Yveltal. And make sure that we are staying nice and healthy. Psychic coming out. Hopefully this just procs our berry on Finny. Yeah. Berry time! Da -na -na -na, na -na, na -na, berry time. Okay, so... Uh, ooh, we've seen a Z move as well. Keen. Going, like, all in. All in. Here we go. Finny will take this. I mean, after the Snarl. And then we're in a nice position to, um, to disrupt a little bit more with another Snarl. If you want this next turn... Wow. It's not even the signature Z move, it's just the um, never ending nightmare into Eveltal. Ha! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. That's, uh, that's pitiful. Eveltal brushing that off. Um, we'll go for another Snarl, and maybe it's time to, to bring in um, Duskmane. Oh, yeah. Let's bring in Duskmane. Let's keep the pressure on. Keep Finny around for later. Because it's likely the Lele could switch out here. And we don't want to be locked into a terrain we don't want on the field later in the match. So it's always good to keep that in mind. There we are. The Lele going to retreat. And the Neligo going to hit the field. So um, and it's a nice switch from us as well. And like, uh, oh, let's see. Wide guard. That's fine. Um, I kind of, I really don't mind that at all. Because the next turn we can foul play the Lunala. And we can... Sensor Strike, the Nilego to pick up the knockout there. We don't even need to Ultra Burst if you want, but I think, yeah, we probably will. Uh, the nice thing about forcing the Lele out there is it's reset. It's, um, well, Ultra Burst for sure, and we'll go for that Sun Steel Strike into the Nilego. Yeah, we've it's, it's reset that Psychic Seed boost that it got at the start of the game, so technically kind of wasting the item, which is nice as well. So Ultra Necrozma coming out. All guns blazing, there's the white guard once again. Trying to scout out for that, that snarl, but we ain't falling for that, my friend. Sunsteel Strike should be more than enough to pick up the knockout onto the um, to the Nihiligo, unless it's sashed, which it is. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, but it's still gonna be all right. We'll take the Lunala down now. Um, Probably see, hmm, maybe a Continental Crush. Uh, Z move, possibly, just a power gem. Oh no, it can't be the Z-move, because the Lunala's Z-moved up. Uh, but because of that Misty Seed that we've got uh, access to, it makes it easy easy for Eveltal to take. It means we can get another Tailwind up this next turn if we, if we want to. Um, and if the Lele comes in like it is, we can target it down with the Sunsteel Strike, and that'll be more than enough. We know it's not Scarfed, so we don't need to worry about that aspect of it. If it was Scarfed, it would be a bit of a different story, because we'd be under a lot more pressure here. Um, we will go for the Tailwind for sure, and uh, since you're striping to... Oh, we went into the Nihiligo when we need to go into the Lele. Oh, we've misclicked. Oh, that's the wrong play by a long way. Ah, oh, I wasn't... I didn't care about the Nihiligo. It wasn't really doing anything to anything. Uh, doesn't gleam. Hopefully we can take this with an Acrosma. Yeah, we do. Okay. We get away with that. I mean, that is... Yeah, that is a lesson for everyone. Just to make sure that you you take your time when you're clicking buttons, uh, because I'm terrible for it. This is why when um, I'm in a tournament, I'll always have a pen in my mouth, and I always just I don't know what it is about having the pen in my mouth. It always always just makes it a bit easier for me to um, to concentrate, slow down a little bit. And if you've got ways where you can help yourself slow down and, and just take a little bit of a backseat, it, uh, it does make things a lot easier. Um, it makes mistakes less prone to happening. We'll go for a Snarl and we'll go for the Z-move um, into 
into Kyoga and try and pick up the knockout there. Ally switch. Ally switch. Oh no. Okay. It's fine. Um, the Z move. Obviously, we have to cut this. It's the longest Z move in the history of Z moves. Uh, yeah, so we will cut this. Um, Pele goes. It's not doing. Wow. Wow. It actually knocks out. It's so strong. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's such a strong Z move in the, the terrain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get the Snarl off into the Kyogre, we'll probably end up losing both both Pokemon here, uh, but we're sitting in, in Tailwind, we're doing alright. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe we actually survived that, that's madness, that's madness I tell you! Um, I can't believe we actually took that, we're both in like the yellow, uh, we'll go for, uh, we'll just foul play now, um, and Photon Geyser. And that should be that. Um, yeah, there's the forfeit coming out from my opponent. So very good game to my opponent. Nice way for us to kick off today. And um, the team showing that it can do some nice work against that archetype at least. So um, yeah, we're off to a good start. Hopefully it continues for the rest of the week. Um, and it's nice, like I say, it's nice just for a change playing some more serious Pokemon, uh, which I haven't done for a while. I'm hoping as the week goes on, um, I feel like Altaria could be one of those Pokemon that I don't bring that often. And any suggestions you guys have, obviously for um, Mega Pokemon is, is more than welcome. Um, but I hope there is opportunities at least for us to feature the Altaria and it actually do some work because I think it, it, it's potentially a really strong Mega option. Um, it's got Pixel 8 as its um, Mega ability, uh, the Cloud 9 when it's 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 not Mega Evolved and it's got the Flying type there which is really useful. Um, Perish Song, I'd give it Flamethrower because I think with Cloud 9 it kind of pairs nicely. You can go for a physical set as well, a lot of players tend to go down a uh, physical set if they're not going down the special route but I kind of prefer the special route just with how uh, predominant Intimidate is in the format, which is one of the things that I do try to, to to get around if I can because it's pretty much on every team and um, if you're not being Nailed by that then it does give you a little bit more of an advantage. I guess um, We're just gonna search for our next opponent. Hopefully it doesn't take too long um, So what I'm gonna do is just cut right now. We'll come back when we bump into our next opponent of the episode and we got our next opponent of the episode, so we'll get straight into it. It's taken ages there to find someone, so we'll get straight into team preview, see what we're going up against. Ah, oh, lovely. What have we got here? We've got Chininja, that's all I'm looking at. Um, so Kyoga, uh, Cortana, Tabu Fini, Shininja, Incineroar, and Rayquaza. One of the things we need to do in this match is preserve our Raichu until the very end because it's likely if they bring Shininja, that will be the one thing that's left and they will get Sork onto it. So, um, yeah, it's going to be super difficult for us to, to get around. Um, let's lead Finny and Eveltal. Um, or we could... Hmm. Hmm. We could lead Raichu. Veltal, uh, just to have that fake out pressure, turn one, uh, go with Finny, and I think we, we're going to need Necrozma here. Um, yeah, yeah, that seems like the best option. Alteria could be decent because of the weather control. It's also got Flamethrower as well. And Perish Song might be quite nice as an endgame, actually, so we could potentially bring Alteria. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with it. Because we were saying about wanting to bring it, let's let's do that. And the Perish Song's a nice way for us to get around the Shininja, for sure. Um, not bringing Intimidate is always going to be more difficult uh, for dealing with something like Rayquaza. Um, Rayquaza needs to be neutered by Intimidate. It's just ridiculously strong. We know how good it is. We've seen how good uh, Mega Rayquaza has done in this series since it was introduced. Um, so it does make it way more difficult. And I think Landorus here could have been a nice option for us to at least be able to intimidate it. But Raichu doing a decent enough job. And I think the thing that we need to try and probably do off the bat is uh, get some speed control going. Um, I do 
want to try and tailwind here with Yveltal. Um, and I'm going to have to fake out the Rayquaza. It might potentially be a Salt Vest. A lot of them are. So if it is, you know, it makes it a nice target for us just to get that fake out. The Cortana could go for um, Tailwind as well to match. So that's definitely an option my opponent could go for. Uh, all things we need to watch out for. So we'll take out into that ray. It is going to Mega Evolve, get the Delta Stream activated. Um, no no protect there, so kind of indicating that it may be. Yeah, there's a Tailwind from. So at least we're matching Tailwinds. Um, which is the, which is a good thing. Uh, we can always get a nuzzle into the the requires of this next turn if we would like to. Um, and then we could go for the foul play into it as well. It's just I would like to start getting damage onto the Cortana as well. Um, and if we go for a nuzzle into the the requires, at least we know we've slowed it down enough. And then when Alteria comes onto the field, it can potentially hyper voice pick up a knockout there, uh, which is always going to be useful. Uh, really, we want to be trying to like preserve both of these Pokemon um, for as long as possible um, because they deal with the Kyogre so well. Uh, there's the Nuzzle. Not worry about it being weakened. It's the Paralysis that we want, and the Snarl will be useful because that is a Salt Fest Ray, I think. Uh, the Leaf Blade coming out, picking up the Knockout onto the Raichu, which is fine. Uh, it will get a Beast Boost, of course, as well. To boot, but uh, it's something we're gonna have to play around, isn't it? It really is. Um, and another snarl will take that Cortana down, which is fine. Um, now we can bring Alteria in. Um, <clears throat> and one of the things we could potentially do this next turn is just snarl protect Altaria, um, not Mega Evolve, and just you know, um, or we could potentially Mega Evolve. I think Mega Evolving might be an idea. Yeah, let's Mega Evolve and let's protect. Because I don't want to take a Smart Strike from Cortana. That's the problem here. Um, Cortana's got to feel pressured. So it might protect this turn. Um, and if it does, then we might have to adjust going into Tapu Fini the next turn. Um, I'm not too worried about uh, the Cloud9 ability right now. It's not my main priority. Although, just not Mega Evolve in that last turn is probably the better option. Look at the back of it. It's so awesome. Cortana not protecting, so we are going to get the Snarl off. Um, and get that, rid of the Cortana. The Rayquaza is fully paralyzed here. I mean, that opens up the best turn possible for us. And Dragon Ascent. Oh, doubling into the Altaria. Hmm, that's interesting. Didn't expect that. Okay, so if Elta gets a free turn... Makes this match way easier for us now because we're going to be able to, uh, especially with Kyogre hitting the field, uh, we can hyper voice and snarl. Um, we have to what? Hmm, uh, Altaria will take an ice beam. We're not four times weak anymore to it um, after a snarl. It depends how fast the Kyogre is, of course, as well. That will make a big difference. But Altaria being part dragon type, it will take a water spout. Um, then it, the hyper voice will be able to get rid of the Rayquaza. Easily, easily. So, um, and then my opponent's only got one Pokemon left after that. So, just pretty nice. It should get us off to a good start this week, and we're able to. Yeah, there's a water spout. It's a fast Kyogre. At least we're not seeing any extreme speed. Wow, we take that pretty comfortably, to be honest. Um, the snarl's super handy, and the hyper voice should be enough to get the Rayquaza and do some decent damage to the Kyogre. What? We don't get the ray? Ma oh, are you kidding? Oh, I can't believe that. I really can't believe it. We're going to lose Yveltal. That hyper voice is weak, man. I guess it is Assault Vest Ray. So. Tailwind's pitter out on both ends of the field. Uh, we've got Tapu Fini. My opponent's still got one Pokemon left as well after this. So it's not, it's not as cut and dry. As I'm, as I'm making out, you know. Um, <sighs> wow. The fast Kyogre throws things off remarkably. Uh, we'll Icy Wind here. We'll have to protect with um, Altaria. It depends what my opponent's last Pokemon is. If 
it's Incineroar that makes things a bit more difficult for us because then they can come and fake out Altera, so we can't potentially perish song which might be an option for us especially if it's Shininja and extreme speed into the thin okay ice beam yeah oh, come on are you kidding really rare it avoids Ugh. this is really frustrating now this is so frustrating uh, we can heal pulse uh, Altaria and hope that um, and hope that we can take an extreme speed from the Rayquaza because I would imagine that's what it's probably going for oh come on the Ray is fully paralyzed that helps us out a little bit I mean we get the heal pulse back which is good we need to keep Altaria in the game um, we'll get a hyper voice man this is why I saw Fest Ray is so good uh, Kyogre getting closer to KO range for sure Ice Beam into Alteria. Okay. Mm. Is it Incineroar? Incineroar! Oh, Shininja. <laughs> okay. We just need to get rid of the Kyogre. <laughs> Easier said than done, though, isn't it? Um, let's Scald the Kyogre, put it in Hyper Voice range, and um, protect. Kyogre could protect here as well. And we might be able to win this one, maybe. I don't know. Like, we need to get rid of the rain, and then the flamethrower will be enough to, to, to deal with that Shininja, for sure. Oh, nice switch. God's sake! I hate you, Shininja. Wonder Guard, yeah. There's an ice beam. Hmm. I mean, all we can really do is just heal pulse, hyper voice, and hope that the hyper voice is actually enough to get the Kyogre. Um, it might be. It's going to be a roll, I think. I think it's a roll. Um, but from the previous two damage, like Kyogre's only take it's taken icy wind damage as well. Uh, the hyper voice will get around this ally switch for sure. We'll be able to take another ice beam after the the heal pulse. Um, so one more hyper voice will be enough after this for sure if this one doesn't take the Kyogre down but Mega Altaria doing some nice work here hopefully it's got enough in the tank to actually finish off this Kyogre <sighs> it's not quite enough um, but taking the Ice Beam pretty pretty well um, we'll go. We'll just have to keep on heal pulsing here and, um, and hyper voicing it gets around the ally switch for sure so Shadow Sneak, as long as Altaria can take a Shadow Sneak, um, Kyogre gonna protect. No, okay, not seeing that. That's good. We get the heal pulse off, so Altaria doing all the work. My opponent might not suspect that we've got um, Flamethrower on Altaria, but as soon as we get rid of the rain, it's gonna mean that we are able to deal with it. Uh, yeah, and we're, we're grounded now, my friend. Uh, you could have done that the previous turn. Um, it's a shame that we can't really hit the Shininja with anything from um, from Tapu Fini, uh, but never mind. We'll just carry on the heal pulse. We'll make sure that these toxics aren't going to be enough because it's going to be sashed. So we're going to have to get around it probably three to four turns, I think around the Shininja, so we can get, like, Toxic's not going to take us down in that amount of time. Get rid of the Kyogre, finally. Um, the rain does lift, and there's the Toxic. Has it gone? It's into Finny. Ha, ah, okay. Right, Flamethrower will be enough. I mean, it would be magic if you pick up a burn here, wouldn't it? And just take it down in one fell swoop. One fell swoop. Um, that would be amazing. Um... We'll go for a haze just in case we see. Ah, I mean, there's no point this turn. We're faster than it. Let's just scald and uh, flamethrower. We've got a, a, a real way to, to beat Shininja now, so it's fine. Don't need to worry about it. Altaria, the ultimate Shininja counter. Uh, scald not doing anything. Flamethrower. Better bing, better boom. Bye bye. 
sashed? Yes. But Sash is gone now, so you're not going to be able to do anything after this. Toxic does hit, but you cannot stall out that many turns of Toxic. Unfortunately, my friend, uh, the flamethrower is going to be your demise. That's what you get for using Shininja. That's what I, that's what Altaria says to Shininja users. Um, so, we'll go for the Scald again. We'll go for another flamethrower, and that should be that. Ooh. Okay. I don't know why you're stalling out. I don't know. I don't really get it. Because at this point, you cannot stall out Protect. I mean, you can go for it. You might get... I don't know how many Protects you're going to need in a row. You could potentially get it. It's a possibility, I guess. The Protect doesn't have a fail chance. It does get less and less and less. But there's still a small percent every time you use it concurrently. Um, it's just too far gone now. But we are going to be able to pick up a victory in our second match today, so that's really nice. And Altaria, the Pokemon being used. Are oh, you... Come on. <laughs> we did say we wanted to use it today, so it was, it's nice that we've actually got to feature in it. It's actually done, like, decently. Um, man. Sheninja. Like, I don't know why my opponent's just not forfeiting. At this point, they're just wasting everyone's time. And I don't really mean this to sound negative, but there is no out for them here. There is no out. You cannot... We've got Heal Pulse, we've got the Berry. Um, just... Just take it. Just take it. Shininja players don't want to give up. Don't want to give up the points. They don't believe it when there's a random... There's a random flamethrower sitting on a Mega Altaria. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the game, yeah, uh, yeah. Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. A uh, very good game to my opponent. We get the flamethrower off into the Shininja. We pick up the win, and we're able to start the week with two victories, which is really nice and makes a change from our roulette series for sure. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back with more shenanigans from this team tomorrow so do stay tuned for that and uh, we'll have more action as the week goes on have a great rest of your day and until next time i'll see you then so until then bye bye